Once upon a time, in a tiny village in faraway Ukraine, a young boy, Peter, went to market with his father to see what they could buy. they saw two merchants who were selling a very frisky young goat. In fact, he was such a handful, they couldn't wait to get rid of him. enchanted with the goat. He begged his father to buy the goat for him. Please, Papa, he said. Papa checked the teeth and hooves. I'll take care of him, Peter promised. And much to his delight, he had a new pet. On the way home, Peter decided to call the goat Ivan. He couldn't wait to show him to Mother. But Mother didn't think Ivan was such a good buy. He was mangy and dirty, she said. Ivan didn't think much of Mother, either. Anxious to keep his pet, Peter took Ivan to pasture and looked after him as best he could. But Mother wasn't any happier. Reluctantly, she took Ivan to pasture. They pulled and tugged at each other. Tied up again, Ivan thought. Mm -hmm. There must be a home for me somewhere. It was a constant struggle. When it was Father's turn, Ivan was so anxious to eat that he dragged father down the hill unmercifully. I'm so hungry, complained Ivan. These berries aren't even ripe. These are too bitter. Oh, look at these sweet leaves. I can't reach them. Well, if I can't eat, he can't sleep. I'll show him. Oh, well, at least you've eaten. I have not. I couldn't get what I wanted. What? Why, you... I'll turn you into goat stew. That's all you're good for. Ah, come back here. Ah. Sauciness gets him into trouble again, and he finds himself alone and frightened. Oh, what'll I do? Where'll I go? Who'll take care of me?
just before dawn the next day, Peter creeps out of the house to look for his friend. <laughs> oh, Ivan! Ivan! The sun is slowly rising, and all the little animals and flowers wake up to celebrate this wonderful Easter Sunday morning. Oh, I'm really lost now. Hey, who's that singing? Deep in the forest, Sister Fox prepares her house for the Easter celebration. So many friends. Maybe I can hide in there. Maybe there's something to eat. Once inside, Ivan gets into everything things he's never tasted before. All the food Sister Fox had prepared for her Easter party. Sister Fox returns from the woods with her flowers and thinks she hears her first guest. Oh dear, thinks Yvonne. They're back already. Remembering his last beatings, he panics. Oh, goody, my friends are here. Hello, who's there? I'll whomp you, I'll jump you with these hooves, I'll stomp you, and that'll be the end of you. That was easy. Now I can stay here as long as I want. Deeper and deeper in the forest, Peter is still looking for Yvonne. Poor sister Fox doesn't know what to do when suddenly two of her guests appear. Oh my! She cries and begins to tell them the whole story. There's a monster in my house! I've never seen a monster before. Let's see what he looks like. Feeling very confident, Ivan isn't going to let two bunnies worry him. I'll whomp you! I'll jump! a real show-off. On his way to Sister Fox's party, Brother Wolf is showing off his new Easter coat.
Mr. Fox, he's very concerned and listens very carefully to her story. She tells him that a horrible monster has driven her out of her house. Dry your tears, Sister Fox, he says. I'll take care of this for you. Brother Wolf thinks he can do anything. Sister Fox is so frightened, she's just about to faint. Meanwhile, in Sister Fox's house, Ivan is up to his usual mischief. He's rid of his bell, and he's playing around with everything he can find. All of a sudden, he hears Brother Wolf outside. Oh, he's as good as gone. Watch out, <laughs> my teeth are very sharp. I'll whomp you! <laughs> my nose, it's ruined. <laughs> what a strange and terrifying beast. <laughs> we better run. Mm, yes, run, run, yes, run, as fast as we can. Suddenly, there is a terrible crashing in the woods. The three bears are on their way to the Easter party at Fox's house, and they've already been celebrating. What a beautiful Easter morning. It'll be fun at Foxy's party, celebrating and eating and drinking. And we'll bring some honey for Sister Fox. Yeah, go ahead, bite me, you silly bees. You can't hurt me. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, what seems to be the trouble, Sister Fox? A monster? He's taken over her house and he won't let her back in. Won't let her back in? Yeah, well, we'll take care of him. We'll pound him to smithereens. Come on, boys. This is a job for super bears. <laughs> to peek through the window. We'll see who it is. I'll kill you, clumsy oaf. I can't see anything in there. I'm tougher than all of you. I'll show you. I'm not afraid. Bah! Bah! What's that noise? That sounds like a... Uh... Let's get out of here. I wouldn't want to tackle him. He's huge. The silly bears are more afraid than anyone else. A monster, a monster, they shout. In the woods, Peter bumps into the frightened bunnies. He thinks he knows who the monster really is, and they all set off to rescue Sister Fox. Poor Sister Fox. But 
Who is this coming out of the water? I'm king of all the sea. I'm King Crab. Watch out for me. See these claws, sister dear. They'll snap at anyone who comes too near. Well, sister fox thinks, maybe help has come at last. Oh, Brother Crab, there's a monster in my house, and he keeps stomping and stomping, and he screams like this. Bah! 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 What does Brother Crab care about monsters? But Sister Fox goes on with her sad story, how the bunnies, the wolf, and the bears were all frightened off. Bunnies, ha! Wolf, ha! Bears, ha! I'm king of all the sea. No one can frighten me. Brother Crab calls out to all the animals living in the forest. Come out, everyone. Sister Fox needs us. And we must come through. We'll show that wicked monster just what we can do. Well, who's this fella? What's he want? Now, come along. Maybe it is Peter's goat. Oh, my nose is sore. Yes, dear friends, we have a job to do. If we all stick together, we can see it through. Who can scare us? No one I know. Onwards, upwards, come on, let's go! Meanwhile, inside the house, Ivan is having a whale of a time. Little does he know what waits for him outside. Yikes! Peter tries to convince Brother Crab that it's only a homeless goat. But Brother Crab won't listen. He's prepared to challenge the monster. Peter pleads as they all shout. You better come out, whoever you are. You're outnumbered. Show yourself if you dare. I'll chomp you. I'll womp you. I'll... Silly beast noises don't scare me. Get away from that door! Gotcha! Ouch, watch it! Oh, it's only a goat! What a scoundrel! The animals were very angry at Ivan for his pranks. Brother Crab wanted to punish him severely. Ivan pleaded for mercy. I never had a home. Forgive me. But the animals weren't ready to listen to his story. Ivan's chances looked grim. Everyone had been so badly frightened that it took them a while to settle down. Mother Bunny was the first to see both sides of the story. Then Peter reminded them that it was Easter and a time of forgiveness. Of course, Sister Fox exclaimed, and he is truly sorry. We must forgive him. Overjoyed, Ivan and Peter embraced their new friends, and they all joined together in a dance for the Easter celebration.